you on time. Okay, you have poll notification. Receive push notifications for your poll. If you put a question for your students uh, or your workers, if you want to ask them about the uh, for today's lesson, if it's understood or not, you'll get a notification for their answer of the poll. Okay, moving on, we have uh, the do not disturb, show chat notification, receive push, and in app banner notification while do not disturb is on. Okay, so you will got your um, no, uh, notification in the notification bar. Uh, so I turned it off. Show call notifications. Receive push call notifications while do not disturb is on. Okay. Missed chat reminders. Would you like to have a reminder if you missed a chat? So uh, you have the choice to turn it on or off. Receive email reminder about chats you have missed in the past Sorry, in the last 72 hours, so if you haven't checked uh, the chat, you will be reminded in 72 hours. Okay, so we have the exact same for the chat, we have the same for the call. You will be reminded after 72 hours. We have the contacts. We have the blocked contacts right here. If you want to unblock them or anything. And then the privacy, uh, you have your phone number inside. Here you have the help and feedback. If you want to delete your account or you have a problem with your account, if someone logged in in it and it's not you, you can get help. And you can give them feedback. If you uh, have an idea for Skype, you can give them a feedback. You can report a problem. You can suggest a feature. Also, you can rate them. You have all of these things in the help and feedback. Okay. So, now that we, we're done from the settings, Let's talk about this area. First of all, you have people. You can search people here, search Skype. Okay, you have uh, all people, messages, and groups. You have, okay, so here are the chats. You have uh you have the calls you can meet now like from the calls you have the meetings you can meet now you can host a meeting you have two choices if you are a professor or a teacher or you want to make a meeting to make a meeting you push the first one which is host a meeting but if you are um if you are invited to a meeting, you should push join a meeting. Like if you're a student, join a meeting. Here you have new call. Who will you call first? Okay. And then you have the contacts. You can add all of your contacts right here. You have new contact. You can um, invite to Skype, like uh, via SMS, email, and more. Or you can add a phone number, save a number to your Skype contacts. Also, you have the notification uh, bar right here. You can push this all. You can see the mentions. You can see the reactions of the students. You can see the notifications. You can fix the notification settings. If it bothers you that you're getting so much notifications, you can go to the notification settings and you can turn everything off. Okay, so you have the choice of fixing this problem. 
OK. And right here, sorry, right here, this, use dial pad. This is the dial pad, the exact same one that you have on your mobile phone. So you can choose the country and make the three numbers first. And then you, uh, you put the phone number you can choose. OK. And then you can push this the new chat, new group chat. You can make a group. You can um, put new moderated group. You have new chat. You can make a new private conversation be between you and one uh, person. And what else? Let's make a meeting. Let's host a meeting. OK. Let's say your meeting is ready. This meeting will not expire and you can enjoy unlimited calls. What is this meeting about? Let me type a class name. Let's say morphology. and syntax okay so this is the name of the class you can put an emoji I put the hard eye emoji and you can share uh, the link and invite others like you can click this and you clicked, um, uh, <clears throat> sorry, you can share the link by copying the link and sending it to people like via chat on any app you like. Okay, or you can push this one, you can invite by copying the link, you can default email, you can Outlook mail, Gmail, and Facebook, or you can add Skype contacts. You can search your contact right here from the search. You can type the name and you can add them to the, um, sorry, uh, the uh, meeting. Okay, so now you have the chat and you have the uh, start meeting. Here we have the background. I have my uh, camera on so I will turn it off and I have my microphone I will turn it off too so let's start the meeting it's just me so <laughs> I can show you okay so let's start from here as I said we have the invite okay uh, you can um, turn this off You'd, if you don't want anyone to join by a link. Okay, so you can turn this off for safety. Okay, so you can add Skype contacts. If you turn this on, other people can join from these other apps. Okay, you have the choice to record the class. Okay, but I turned it off. Uh, you have the participants. Uh, you can see all of your uh, students here and uh, you can see if they have their microphone on and off. And uh, if you are talking to them and they're not answering, you can click on their microphone and hear them. And like check if they're paying attention or not, which is a good feature. Okay. Here we have the microphone, you have the speaker, default communications, you have the noise cancellation, you have the microphone. Also here you have the camera. Okay, so I turned it on. You can change the background, you can choose this one or this one or this let's say let's change it to, to this one okay 
and then you can close and end your meeting by clicking on this okay so we have the chat you can see the conversation on the side if your students are writing something or if they're having any problems they can type anything here you can see the chat you have emojis all of the emojis right here okay you have Uh, you can change the way you're typing, like let's say, I'll type anything right here. Hello, my dear students. Okay, you can change it. Oops, sorry. To this and send it. You have it in a thicker um, way, the way it's ty uh, typed, okay? Uh, and you can here click on this, you can add files from your desktop. You can download anything you want, okay? And you have here the contacts. If you have a student, a new student, and you want to add them to the meeting, you can put the contact and easily put their phone number and they will join easily. Also, you have the location, you have schedule a call. If you're, during, if you're doing the meeting and you want to schedule another call, you can click right here. You can create a poll. You can put the question, the time, the uh, okay you can type anything you want how was today's lesson okay let's say let's change the date let's say November 22nd, let's change the hour, let's say, sorry, um, let's say 3 p.m., okay, or 2.30 I'm struggling with this one. One moment, please. Okay, let's say 1 p.m. Okay. So we can put two options. We can say easy. And we can put hard. And you can create the poll. And then you have the details. So I will click on easy and there is one person that answered which was me and then you can click on the view details and you can see clearly who answered which was me. Okay and then you have the OneDrive. I really think OneDrive is very helpful. I have everything on OneDrive, so you can click on OneDrive. 